G'day everyone, welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'll be Nat, this will be my Knackers Yard, this will be my CB250 Super Dream with the engine out and in pieces. Um, that'll be the cylinder head that I was in the valves that I was messing around with last time. Um, frankly, this evening's job, probably in the kitchen, is going to be putting that back together uh, in terms of putting the springs, etc, etc on it. Uh, mostly because there's tiny retaining clips on the springs. I do tend to drop and they're easier to find on a kitchen floor than a garage floor. Um, the weather is atrocious. Um, I've got some boring stuff to do, frankly. Um, and what I'm doing is cleaning my nuts and my bolts. So these are the engine casing ones. I can't chuck them back in as is. It's just beyond me. Uh, but what I am going to do, what I've, the lesson I've learned is that just chucking them on my grinding... Um, and my Scotch Bright wheel over the back is brilliant, gets some you know half decent results. What I have learned is that it won't last um, uh, effectively. I'm stripping off any protection they've got and they'll rust instantly. And I don't want to put this engine back together only to get it instantly to a place where nobody can ever get it apart again. So I'm trying something new. Uh, and I don't know whether or not to do it with all of the engine bolts, including the sides. I probably will just for. The shits and the giggles if nothing else um i'm going to clean them off i'm then going to give them some electrolysis to get rid of any residual rust then i'm going to try nickel plating um which i've never done before several people have done it and done videos um sid um has done it a few times in his if i can find or if i remember as much as anything else i'll drop the link at the bottom or as a tile or, or whatever um, i'm not going to get that done today because i don't have the um, nickel anodes but what i will do is try and get them at least started um, on the uh, rust removal electrolysis but we'll see how we go um i think well, i'll see how i get on i might just do the engine bolts today um it's a crappy day so uh, it's just keep me out of trouble for a little while right i'm gonna you know i won't show you me doing stuff on a wheel um effectively it's going from that you know to that um it's still got crud dirt etc i will make a very small bath of my uh quite dirty but still usable um uh brake cleaner just to give it a bit of a soak and a bit of a scrub uh, before I start any electrolysis to get any residual rust off. Right, let's get that done. Right, a bit of cleaning and a bit of experimenting. Um, I've tried off a battery. I don't like using a battery because it runs out. I tried off a charger. I think that charges on its last legs because I'm getting weird lights. Um, sometimes it seems to work, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so what I've gone for is a mobile phone charger, an old one. So taken it up and stripped the wires chucked them in a little bit of messing around trying to work out which one I think is positive which is negative uh, and what I've got in there which you can't quite see <coughs> excuse me now what I would normally do and have done in the past is attached one um, element to uh, the negative to what you want the rust to come off and the positive um, as your sacrificial anode um, obviously I can't do that with what 18 bolts so I've got flat a flat piece of metal, uh, one at the bottom, um, which is my positive, and then my negative at the top, with all of the bolts lying on those, hoping that the conductive, uh, wrong, hoping that the electricity just conduct across those. And the bubbling seeming to work. Um, some bits do better than others routinely, but um, I think what I do is let it do its thing for a little while, have a look, give it a bit of a reshuffle. Um, and then see how it goes. But it's the first time I've used a mobile phone charger. Um, uh, we'll see. Makes me less confident about sticking my finger in that, and I'm not going to. But I'll leave that to go for a little while and see what happens. Right, a little bit later. Uh, yeah, it's not really rust on them, it's keck. So they're now in a bath of uh, my... Uh, brake cleaner 
cover up because that's just going to evaporate otherwise I'll clip that down in a second. Uh, I've now got the uh, breather plate from the top of the rocker top and that's had a bit of a douche so I'm taking it out. Um, it is incredibly rusty so uh, I thought I'd just drop it in the bath uh, a couple of stoppers on there so that I don't complete the circuit my sacrificial plate on top attach the positive and plug it in and then try and leave that to do its thing if its thing is anything at all no it's starting to get some bubbles there already um, yeah slow one um, I have a oh, thank you wife and Um I have a broader question this is a this is a bone process is there a better way of doing it am I missing something um, I'll do this as a really short upload, I think, because there's not a great deal that happens. Oh, you can see that. There you go. Hubble, bubble, time and trouble. Um, like I say, I will probably spend this evening sorting out the um, cylinder head. The cylinder head? Yeah, the uh, valves and getting those reset um, purely and simply because I'm slightly paranoid about doing it on a surface where I'm not going to check any of the collets when I drop them because I will. Uh, but that'll do me as a really short one. Um, not a great deal, I'm really prepping. I'm waiting for my barrels to come back from being re-honed uh, and the new um, uh, new pistons that are going to come with it as well. <coughs> that will, I think, give me the impetus to start pulling this back together. Um, the elements are about as clean as I'm going to get them, I think. I might just give them a quick douche as they go back in. Um, but I really need a good run through to do that and it's all a bit busy at the moment so I'm struggling to find the time as ever right that'll do me I'm going to leave that Hubble bubbling seeing what's happening uh, and then uh, see how we go but that'll do me cheers all I'll catch you later ta-da right you don't tell my wife what I get up to in the kitchen when she's asleep and I won't tell yours either um Sorted. It's, it's such a fiddly job. I'm glad I did it in the kitchen because I fired the little um, retaining clips across the kitchen so many times. Um, I'm just ham-fisted doing this. I don't really know why, but they're in, they're done, they're squared away. A little bit of assembly lube on the collets just stops them from pinging quite so far, or at least if they hit the ground, it stops the bastards rolling. Um, done. That's me. Uh, for the day, I'm going to chuck this away and then pretend that I've been sat in the living room all evening. <laughs> right, so the next day, oh Christ, I've hurt my back. I don't know what I've done. Um, that's one of the bits that I wish I'd taken a before shot. Um, but it's considerably better. It's not perfect, but that will do me. Um, it's just the breather cover, or the covers the breather system. Um, I have off camera stripped the clutch down all the way down. Uh, that's the uh, from the basket because the metal, oh, the steel, um, was kind of pinned. Uh, I might as well show you actually. There you go, that groove around there. Uh, those two were under that zip, like that. And then that pin was holding in the final steel that was really rusty and I wish I'd taken a pick. I might, I might see if I can dig back through some old videos just to look at the condition that the steels were in. In fact, I'll do that and I'll have to rip it off YouTube because I don't keep my old um, source videos. Ew. Ew. Nasty, nasty. All right.
That's a bit strange. I've got two clutch plates against each other there. Oh, no, no, so it's not. That is a steel. It's just got half of the material of the uh, plate in it. Okay, I think that might need replacing. And literally just parking it for now. I'll keep them in the same order. Ew. Ew, nastiness, those plates are going to have to go. The question is whether or not I think I can salvage these steels. Look at that, that's just pheasant. Right, hopefully that's worked. I wonder if I get copyright strikes for my own stuff. Um, uh, fuck. Uh, back. Um, you can see the fibre ones there. The steels I give a bit of a scrub down. And I've come up with a slightly ingenious uh, way of doing it because I've noticed that you do tend to get the best electrolysis when you're closest to your anode, to your positive element. So it's a big donut, so I've made a donut. Um, and I, what I've done is chopped off, you know, like centimetre lengths of uh, of wire just between each layer, sandwich them up. And I'm just going to leave it and that will do me um, uh, for the day and probably for the rest of this weekend because my back is bloody killing me. I don't know what I've done. I think the wife's beating me up in my sleep. Uh, right, a bit of a dull one. Let's have a look at if these are getting anywhere. Yeah, it's getting some crap off. Uh, I don't really want to stick my hands in, in it. Yeah, they're getting there. I'll just leave them um, while I am waiting for my nickel to come in and so I can have a go at nickel plating. I just need to get those as clean as I can. I'm not after showy nickel plating. These are bolts, the majority of which are under uh, the engine. Um, in fact, I think they all are, so they're not. it's not to be seen. I just want to protect them because if I've stripped all the stuff off, all the gunk off. Um, I've also taken any coating they've got and they're just going to rust in place. Um, and the next poor sod that tries to do this will never get them out or they'll just crumble underneath. And I wouldn't want to impose that on another tit in a shed. Right, short one, really uneventful one. I apologise for that, but periodically these things will happen. Um, yeah, fortunately a less kinetic day coinciding with me having a poorly back cool right that'll do me cheers all uh, i'll catch you on the next one and um we'll look at some uh, nickel plating i think uh, and see how and if i need to do some thinking in the interim as to how to probably suspend these in a liquid uh yeah yeah we'll think we'll think Cheers all, I'll catch you later on. Ta-da.